This one from the Rev Heads. If McNeil has another slow start, will second base be open to a Luis Angel Acuna? I would think they're going to let McNeil work through whatever he has to, but I'll, I'll take this question a different direction, Joe. With no Mauricio this year, it feels like the door is a little bit more open for Acuna to actually have a role with this team at some point, and if Mauricio didn't get hurt, I would say there's a chance we don't see much of Acuna this year, honestly. I expect you'll see Luis on Hell Acuna this year one way or another, but maybe it's something where, you know, if Brett Beatty doesn't turn it around, you shift Jeff McNeil over to third base, he could play there, and Acuna gets his call up. But I want to emphasize how good Jeff McNeil is, because I think we just had two kind of trading Jeff McNeil, if Jeff McNeil's not good questions. Yeah, it's like, crazy. Guy won a batting title. Not guy won a batting title over a year ago. He obviously was playing through the elbow injury. His second half, if you look at those stats, they, they were a little closer to his career norms. Not 315, but I think he hit 280-something in, in the second half. So Jeff McNeil, much like we talked about last year, he's just a prime ba- bounce-back candidate. Like He's got one of the best bat-the-ball skills in the sport. So Jeff McNeil, I think, is going to be okay, and a lot of people are kind of writing him off a little too much. All right, Joe, I'll close out the mailbag with a question of my own. Jet Williams, the official prospect of the Mets pod. When do we see him in Queens? Is it this year? I'll tell you. I put in my projections on my top 30, which you can see on SNY.TV. I put 2025. Uh, But if you talk to Jet Williams, he says 2024. And he is a guy that has been bet against his whole life because everyone told him, you're not going to be a first-round pick. You're not going to get a Division I scholarship because of your height. So I think he is the definition of he has that chip on his shoulder, and he firmly believes he's coming up this year, and I'm not going to be the one to tell him that ain't happening. It's bad business, you know, to bet against him at this point.